Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music, and in today's lesson I want to teach you how to play the awesome chorus of the DA Games Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location song. Okay, so it's called Left Behind, and it's very awesome, the chorus. Okay, I'll play the whole song, but let's give you a preview of what you're going to learn today. So it goes like this, the chorus. <laughs> Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba 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 oh, okay, that part. Okay, so let's start with the right hand, obviously. The right hand melody starts on G, middle C, C, G. Okay, there's G up here. So two G's, and then E flat, D, C, and then C, E flat, G, F, E flat, D, C, C, E flat, G, F, E flat, B flat. A flat. Okay, let's just do this as the first part. Okay, let's do it again. So, G G E flat D C C E flat G F E flat D C C E flat G F E flat up to B flat A flat. Okay, so the first three chords for this first part for the chorus goes these three chords on the left hand C minor, C, E flat, G, and then C minor again for the second time, and then finish with F minor for the last chord of this first part, which is F, A flat, C. Okay, recapping the chords C minor, C minor, and then F minor for these three chords for the first part. With those three chords in minor, put the two hands together. Right hand starts with the right hand G part first, so it goes. C and C minor together. C and C minor together. A flat and F minor together. Just like that. Okay, one more time. Together. Together. Okay, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and do the second part of the chorus. Okay, the right hand goes E flat, F, E flat, F, A flat, G, and then three G's, one, two, three, and then another F, and then a G. So it's fast. G, 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 F, G, that part, okay? Okay, so and then it goes G, G, E flat, D, C, C, E flat, G, F, E flat, D, C. Okay. Let's do this second part first with the right hand, so let's do it again, so E flat, F, E flat, F, A flat, G, and then three G's, one F and a G, so one, two, three, F, G, like that. And then two more G's, and then E flat, D, C, C, E flat, G, F, E flat, D, C. Okay, so with that in mind, let's do the left hand chords now, G major chord, G, B, D. C minor, C, E flat, G, and C minor again, C, E flat, G. Okay, so with those three chords in mind, G major, C minor, and C minor, let's put the two hands together. So what happens? Right hand starts first again, so it's like. And then G and G major together. And then, and then it goes C and C minor chord together. C and C minor chord together. Time so together, 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 just like that. Okay, now the last part right hand goes like this so it goes C, E flat, G, F, E flat, up to B flat, A flat, E flat, F, E flat, F, A flat, G, F, G. A flat G and then G E flat D C G F G. That's the end of it. Okay, let's do it again. So C E flat G F E flat B flat A flat and then E flat F E flat F A flat G 
F G A flat G and then G E flat D C G F G. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so now the left turn chords is F minor, F A flat C, and G major, G B D, and finish with C minor, C E flat G. Okay, these three chords. Let's do it again. So F minor, G major, and C minor. With those three chords in mind for the left hand, let's put two hands together. Right hand once again starts first with. And then A flat and F minor together. After G, G major by itself. And then C and C minor chord together. Just like that. And it's finished. Let's do it again. So, together. Here. Together. Just like that. Okay, so let's just do the basic version, the whole chorus again, recap the whole chorus with the basic chords, and then I'll show you what you can do afterwards. So, right hand, uh, starts first, it's like... Together. 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 So after these basic chords and basic melody, you can learn my advanced courses that I have on my website available in the description below, where I teach how to like improvise all these extra stuff, like what I do in my covers, like I just make it up on the spot, all these like fancy like jumping around on all these like um, chords and like arpeggios and all these kind of like, runs and stuff, I make it up on the spot, those are like teachable in my uh, in courses, okay? So for example, I improvise something with this thing that I just taught, it goes something like this. <laughs> Like this song is pretty epic, very like demonic and like very big. So that's why I add all these like really big stuff to make it sound really like death metal-ish. Like what? It's not death metal-ish. Like it's really metallic. And in the original song, it's really like big and full as well. That's why I try to like make it on the piano as well. Okay, so I hope you learned, uh, enjoyed learning this very catchy theme. And check out my cover. I did the full song of this. A full cover of this song, can't even talk properly right now. Did the full cover of this song, and yeah, you can check it out and like maybe learn something from that, see what I do, and kind of like, or maybe just listen and enjoy this awesome song itself. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this lesson. Enjoy my other covers and tutorials on this channel. I have over 600 for you to enjoy and learn. And as for now, I guess, enjoy your time around my channel, and see you next time. Hello, everybody, thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button if you want more piano tutorials like these sent to your newsfeed every day. Click the first link in the description below to grab my free ebook teaching you my exact methods on how I play any song by ear with 10 to 20 minutes. If you are completely new to music, then start with my Udemy approved beginners course by clicking the second link. If you want me to play or teach you any full song of your choice, then become my patron by clicking the third link. And if you just want to watch my full piano cover of the song I just taught, then find my cover in my piano playlist.